Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today, we are going to continue with chapter 9, Quantizations of Life. So in this video, we are going to continue with the example where it's related to the graph and the equations. Okay, so let's start with example 5. In a photoelectric experiment, the graph of the light frequency is plotted against the maximum kinetic energy. Okay, so here the frequency is given exponent power of 14 and this is the k maximum in electron volt. Okay, so now from based on the graph for the light of the frequency 7.14 exponent 14, calculate the threshold wavelength. Okay, so before we start, okay, let us uh, see what is the relationship between the graph and also the equation. Okay, so from the equations, we know that hf is equal to work function plus k max. Okay, so we need to rearrange back the equations where f is x component, k maximum is the x component. Okay, so f will equal to k maximum over h plus work function. So work function, we can convert into hf naught and over h. Okay, h and h we can cancel. Okay, therefore, it's only equal to f naught. So if we compare with the equation y equals to mx plus c, okay, we notice that actually f is a y exit and then k max is x exit. Okay, and the y intercept here, okay, is actually f naught. So meaning that 4.83 is actually our f naught. Okay. And the gradient here is given okay, from the equation is the gradient is actually equals to 1 over h. Okay, now number one, we want to find the trishrow wavelength. Okay, where we know V or C equals to F lambda. Okay, and we want to find the trishrow wavelength where trishrow wavelength is equal to C over trishrow frequency. So C is the speed of light, so we can substitute 3 exponent 8 and the threshold frequency here from the graph, okay, so from the graph here, we notice that threshold frequency is equal to 4.83 exponent 14, okay, so 4.83 exponent 14 hertz. Okay, therefore, the threshold wavelength, the value that we will get is equal to 6.21 exponent negative 7 meter okay next questions number b determine the maximum speed of the photo electron so from the equation just now hf is equal to work function plus k maximum or half nv squared okay so we can substitute in okay Half nv square is equal to hf minus hf naught, okay, where h is 6.63 exponent negative 34, and we can factorize out the value h, yeah? okay, where f the incident frequency, uh, we don't have the incident, yes, huh? the incident frequency is equal to 7.14 exponent 14, so I substitute 7.14 exponent 14. And the threshold frequency from the graph just now here is here is 4.83. Okay, so it's 4.83 exponent 14. So this value is from the graph. Eh? Okay, so half nv square m is the value for electron. So it's 9.11 exponent negative 31 v square. Okay, therefore V or the maximum speed of the photoelectron that we can obtain is equal to 5.8 exponent 5 meter per second. Okay, so this is the answer for the maximum speed. Okay, next we go to example number 6. Okay, example number 6. In an experiment of the photoelectric effect, the following data were collected. Okay, meaning that here we have two different wavelengths. You know, the first one is 250 and the stopping potential is 1.7. Okay, the second one, the wavelength, the EM radiation is 450 nanometer and the stopping potential is 0 0.9 volt. Okay, so now question number 1. 
calculate the maximum velocity of the photon electron when the wavelength of the incident radiation is 350 nanometer. Okay, so we are referring to case one. Okay, the first wavelength. So H C over lambda is equal to work function plus K max. Or K max here because it's not given, they give us the stopping potential, so we can use the stopping potential EVS. Okay, the problem is we don't have the value for the stopping potential. Okay, so how to find the maximum velocity? We have another equation where K max is equal to potential energy. Okay, therefore, half NV square is equal to EVS. Okay, so we can find the maximum velocity. Okay, where V is equals to 2 EVS over M square root. Okay, so I substitute, I substitute in the value where 2 E is 1.6 exponent negative 19. And stopping potential when we incident 350 nanometer radiation, the stopping potential here is 1.7. Okay, so it is equals to 1.7 and the mass is uh, the mass of the electron. So it's 9.11 exponent negative 31. And remember to square root. Okay, therefore the velocity or the maximum velocity of the photo electron is equal to 7.73 exponent 5 meter per second. Okay. Okay, second question is B. Determine the value of the Planck constant from the above data. Okay, so from the above data, we found that actually we have two unknown. No? The first one is H, the second one is the work function. Okay, so what should we do is because we have two unknown and we have we can form a two equations and then we can do it simultaneously. So we need to rearrange back work function is equal to HC over lambda minus EVS. Okay, so since these two EM waves are using the same material, same metal surface. Therefore, work function for the wavelength one actually equals to work function for wavelength two. Okay, because they are using the same metal surface. Okay, so work function one is equal to H C. So we substitute in the value H C over lambda, where lambda is equal to three hundred and fifty nanometer minus E V stopping where V stopping here is 1.7 EM radiation is HC over 450 nanometer okay, minus EVS is 0 0.9 okay, so it's 0 0.9 E okay, so this one I shift to here and then EVS I shift to the other side okay, therefore HC we can write out HC is times 1 over 350 nano minus 1 over 400 nano equals to 1.7 minus 0 0.9 times e okay where e is 1.6 exponent negative 19 then h is equal to 6.72 exponent negative 34 joule second Okay, so that's all for this example. Okay, we will see you on the next new chapter. Okay, we will start with chapter 10, Wave Properties of the Particle. See you on the next video. Bye.